I'm probably the only one who's excited about this one game that Ubisoft announced uh, the day before Nintendo did. Fuck Ubisoft. Hey. Yeah. No. Which one? Consider considering what, what came out about them last year, I, I, yeah, I, I'd say fuck Ubisoft. <sighs> there. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but um, there's something that okay. Aside from you know the bullshit that e EA does. Um with their microtransactions and all that shit. Haven't they been abusive to their employees? Yeah, they literally protected abusers high up in the company's ranks for, for decades. Like, guys who would sexually harass and even drug their co-workers and shit. Holy... That's horrible. Yeah. It was a bad... It was a bad. I'm surprised oh, this company didn't, like, have to... Have they been in any lawsuits? <sighs> The, like the I guys, said they were protected, so the, pe the people yeah. that were that were um, like that was that, that were found out were allowed to like uh, what was it? They were allowed to um, re not retire but uh, leave the company. Basically, Any... they, they weren't fired. They 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 left the company on their own volitions. Any Archon Pony, why you don't like Ubisoft, dude, for re the reasons that were just listed. Yeah. They, they might the not guy... hear it yet, there's a slight lag. Yeah. Also, the guy who was uh, well known for all this abuse shit up in the company, you ever wonder why Ubisoft games all seem to be the same? With like fucking radio towers and open world and shit? It's his fault. Yeah, he, he, it was literally all he wanted to do with these games. He, 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 he would say, if anybody else had any ideas with, for games, he would see, be go like, oh, that's gay, and shit like that. That's gay. Boy. It's it's one of the reasons why I'm glad that Ubisoft didn't make another Splinter Cell game while he was still hemi like helming the ship. Because... Sorry, go ahead. Because, like, Splinter Cell games don't really lend themselves to the whole open world, uh, like, Radio Tower collectathon things. Because mm -hmm. it's a stealth, it's a it's a 100% stealth game where the whole point of the game is to not be detected if you want to complete the game. Mm -hmm. And when was the last time there was a Splinter Cell game? Uh, Blacklist in oh, 2013, I think. Get up, get up, get up. No, it, it actually... is pretty much shoved under the rug because everyone's like super like like okay. Ubisoft How... is like one of the few businesses that are actually still hiring in my town. So like you... anything Whoa, is no! pretty much covered up. And you go Get to up. their office with a letter from me that says, "Please make another Splinter Cell game." And I don't mean, yeah, just I know put, where their office is. Don't just put Sam Fisher in Rainbow Six Siege or make an anime about him. Please make a fucking game. It's been... <laughs> oh. it's, it's, I mean, I don't think they listen to their mail, but I, I can try. You I need to... Know. You need to I chuck need... that shit through their window, tied to a brick. Oh, I'm not condemning this, this is a joke. Oh, and you, and you know the director for Beyond Good and Evil? You, you want to know why Beyond Good and Evil has been, or Beyond Good and Evil Two has been like so longly like delayed and and shit for like over almost two decades? Because literally every time they would have an idea for the game, the director would be like, "No, no, no." One minute he'd be like, "Oh, that's perfect," and the next he'd be shouting at the person, being like, "What are you talking about? This is stupid and shit." He he just wouldn't make up his mind for the game, and he would. And he would chew out employees one uh, after praising them one minute. How is yeah. it? How is it that there haven't been any repercussions? From where? Because, like I said, In they Ubisoft? were all allowed. To, they they were all allowed to um, to uh, re to leave the company of their own volitions. Uh -huh. Also, kind of, like the yeah. games that they the games that they helmed and made like sold like hotcakes. So yeah, they were they were big, and no one wanted cares? to shut down. And Basically Eve Shamo, the one company still hiring. Jesus Christ. Eve, Eve, Eve Mo acts all like, like very like like he was unaware of all the shit going on when one of the guys was like his his best fucking friend and HR was would 
would was actively getting rid of any complaints against this guy. Jesus. Who they cares? Were, like, to Quebec, you speak English. You suck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who cares if Who cares if you are hurting people like emotionally and psychologically damaging them for for years and years to come? The game sold well above the budget it was needed to make it, and is continuing to sell due to our live service this tactics. This is so full of shit. This is this is what encourages the mentality of people who are so successful that they think they're above morality. Kiss my yeah. ass, whoever has that mentality, you can go jump off a cliff. I will let them know you said so. Please do so. Please take- and also take my letter and tell them to make another Splinter Cell game. Please. I mean, it's down the- basically down the street in a bus right away from the place that sells that really good cake I was telling you about, so, I mean, Please. I'm in the area. <laughs> Please. Please take letter that, to them and tell them to make another Splinter Cell game. God, I'm getting so tired of waiting. <laughs> I just um, want to play. I want to play Splinter Cell again. I mean, <laughs> I can ask. I mean, my coworker, her son works Damn at the company, so maybe. Please tell him to God just make another Splinter Cell game. I'll <laughs> suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I um, uh, I was gonna say before I, I got completely interrupted. Oh, sorry. I apologize. No, no, no. It's fine. I was just excited that they finally are doing a sequel for Mario plus Rabbids. I thought Mario about you, Rabbids. not gonna lie, when, when seeing the fucking Mario <laughs> plus Rabbids thing. So I was like, Fuck. oh god. <laughs> right. I was like, oh, oh god. Hey, hello, yeah. Border. Welcome back, Yo. Border. You Welcome back, have... suck you, sis. Hello. Okay, you should have seen my face when I saw the trailer. For the, for the new. I bet but, you were like squirming and shit when you saw it. <laughs> I was. I actually ended up scaring my baby cut my baby knees by accident because I got oh so excited. <laughs> I scared. Did you wait? Did you say sorry afterwards? I hope you didn't. I did. She's okay. still a baby. She's okay. still a baby, so she doesn't understand. But at the same time, like I'm sorry. I didn't. You. She was whenever, crying and everything. Whenever oh, I see, like, whenever I saw Mario plus Rabbids and like the the first game and this new game, I'm just the only thing I can think of is this is just XCOM but with less with less steps. I, I still remember the look on Rabbit Luigi's face when Rabbit Luigi Mario was was revealed. Yeah, that was. Oh Rab god, uh, that Rab was perfect. Wait, Pepsi Bradley Rosalina back? being the most lazy bitch is the greatest thing on the block. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, she's such a. I love. She's the bottom. <laughs> such a brat. I love it. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be playing. This will require a way no beam. More. Okay, so where else do I go? I'm stuck. Heck, Oh no. Oh shit, I can watch the My Little Pony movie on Amazon Prime for free with ads. Huh? Yeah, watch oh, it on cool. Netflix also for free, Hell, no ads. Hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Well, cur cur currently, oh. I've got, currently I've got records of Ragn uh, Record of Ragnarok playing on my Netflix, so... Also, uh, another game that is gonna get ported with new content is the Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Did not know how to feel about that. It's Thank just you. Monica. No, no. I mean, like the reason why I say that is because what makes Doki Doki Literature Club so unique is the way that it does shit for your like computer. Yeah, I and was, putting I that was... on a PC would how would you even like execute I mean, it... that? You mean on a Switch? Yeah, I, like, I imagine. PS5. I imagine they're gonna do something similar to Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. Oh, I can see where you go with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's gonna be mm -hmm. like throughout the throughout the course of your playthrough, it'll start fucking with like it'll make you think that it's fucking with the settings on your on your uh, TV. Like brightness settings go down, audio, like bass treble, shit like that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, another passage. Uh, All right, let's see what's in here. I also like thinking like, are they gonna have it to where the co where the controller is gonna move on its own or what? 
I mean, they did port... Nintendo did do a port of uh, Metal Gear... The first Metal Gear Solid game, which had Psycho, uh, Psycho Mantis, who get out, get out, get did out. exactly that. Galaxy. Yes? Oh my god! Come on, get out! Look in the oh gaming chat. Riley. Ah! Stop <laughs> nice. falling in the wall. I saw what you did on the thing. Let me see what's... Gaming, 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 gaming. Come on, get up! Ugh! Bonky... Boki Noki Miniature Club. Get up! <laughs> the thing is it's... about Doki Doki Liter Literature Club, though, it's, it's kind of hard to really play that game once you know the gimmick and once yeah. you know the whole thing. I mean, yeah. Somet yeah. sometimes games are just good for a one and done. I think a good way to think of it is this. Does it cost less or about the same or in the ballpark of a movie ticket? Because that's an experience that you really only have once. So it's yeah, like, I mean, if you give me a game, if you give me like a game for like, for instance, like say Slender, regardless of what you think of it, I'm probably going to enjoy that more than seeing a scary movie just because it's also less than the cost of a movie. True. Doki Literature Club Plus. Haha. -ha. Hmm. Yeah. They added Do more content. Apparently you get the chance to finally interact with Monica. Doesn't it all- isn't it gonna have, like... Yeah, like the whole you can interact with Monica and shit like that? Yeah. I think so, yeah. That's one of the features they added in. It was like, oh, so we finally get a chance to talk to Monica, but we get to finally learn more about her, give them more of a reason why here? she's so obsessed with us. Also, Instead they give... of just waiting till the end for that to happen. <laughs> Also, they give exactly. you, like, if you get the physical edition, you get a soundtrack download card that looks like a fucking floppy disk. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's adorably funny, ah, like, oh there. my god, that's, like, my flicking ah, fucking childhood no. right there. I'm about, to, I'm about to boot up this soundtrack, let me put him in my Windows 98 computer. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the damn thing. No. Uh... You also get an exclusive special poem written by Monica in the physical edition uh, literature oh, club, a literature club membership card. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? 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 Look at this! Yeah! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! That's oh dear! Good. Chat, we are not going to explain that. Ooh. No, nope, we're nope, definitely nope, not nope, going nope, to. Nope. But nope. that's fine. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. PC are cowards! And it, uh, from Zack fucking Snyder of all people. Because from he... I mean, it's not surprising if it's from Zack Snyder, considering what the fuck he writes, so of course this would be up his alley, but... Did you not see that Val Kilmer posted something similar? Oh, he did. I oh, did. Did, yeah. God. Does he or I doesn't did. he? And then he posted, he posted the, uh, the, the... Oh, uh, that's right, I can't go in there yet. The scene of, uh, of Selena going, we could give it a try, I'll bring the wine. Val <laughs> Kilmer's, Kilmer's saying he does. Zack Snyder's saying he does. Daedric Bader's saying he does. At DC are just cowards. They're idiots. They're fools. They don't know what they're talking about. The fools. Fools and bastards. <laughs> that they are. All right, all right, I'll delete it from the chat. <laughs> oh, shit. Dumbasses. Fools and all of them. <laughs> if you're telling me that, Batman, that Bruce Wayne does not do that, with all the women he's you're been with, talent. you're yeah. living in a fantasy world. You don't know what you're talking about. So, it's like how exactly. Uno, it's like how Uno says you can't stack plus fours or plus twos, even though in the official video game you can. <laughs> <laughs> or like how this is like DJ Khaled levels. Monopoly saying that you can't trade favors like immunities in chat. Monopoly in exchange for money. In chat, it's um. It's it's too inappropriate. Mm -hmm. It would. It's one of those. NSFB. Yeah, it's it's NSFW. It's one yeah, of those it's things. NSFGF. That... Haha. NSFGF. Haha. Uh -huh. it's, uh -huh. it, it's it's something regarding Batman that's been going around Twitter. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Yep. 
if you want to research it on your own time, there's your, uh, there's your... NSFDZ. NSFDN. <laughs> ah. DN or DC? <laughs> we're saying this. Both. We're saying this stuff on <laughs> yes. Please, please Twitch. Please, this is a joke. And YouTube, don't age restrict this. Just give Golden the damn cash. Just give him. Just give him the damn cash. <laughs> oh. That's something to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. They will research it if they want. Yes, if you guys yes. want to do the research, my dudes. If you guys want to research it, that's on you. We're we're keeping it safe. We are a mostly safe stream here at Golden Fox Stream. You see. You see. Yeah, well, we not only the that, they're just Minecraft they're, server. There are just some people oh. who just don't want to see it. That's what it all comes down to. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. They are um, absolutely. absolutely right. Also, I am no fucking Christian. <laughs> mi mi <laughs> Mick fucking... that's, that's the joke, Golden. <laughs> Mick fucking, excuse me, Ninja reviewer. There's going to be more DLC for Skullgirls. <gasps> oh, really? Skullgirls, we! Oh my gosh! Yes! You... Oh, what? You better, no! you better not be lying to me. This better not be a lie. I swear. Oh my God, wait, what is this? I need this your life in my life. life. Like I. Have Yet to fully play the games, but I do like the art style of the characters. Oh my okay. god! We are getting a new character, and <laughs> well, isn't like Skullgirls how what well, how uh, Christina V got big? I I'm pretty sure, yeah. 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 I think so. Also, like it put uh, what's his name, Sonic Fox, in there. Yeah, they in yeah they the, did yeah yeah they did. They put they Sonic did Fox in one of yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's it. It's also another one of the only games today that has the the whole rollback netcode instead of delay based netcode. On top of that, they also have a system where they will actually show, like when you're about to go up against an opponent, they will show whether they are using a wired connection or a wireless connection. <gasps> oh my God, they're releasing Annie. Annie what? Um, for uh, Skullgirls, finally. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I need. You're it's a good musical. I need yeah. to see musical's also good. It's just, it's it's a it, Skullgirls just good game. Dusk, good good fight. Yes, oh, I yeah, did make is. fan art of Annie at one point. I'm so glad they're announcing a, like a fucking release. Oh, did, yes. Cool can character. I see a can I see a picture of her? Yeah, oh I'm my gosh, a, hold on. I'm getting a thing right now. Oh, Annie shit. is Annie is cute as fuck. There we go. Annie, oh my god, I love her oh so god, much! The, <laughs> what? Oh my god, the little this bunny song? character! The oh little bunny character, I love it! <laughs> I love her! I love her design! I did draw a fan art of her at one point! Okay, I really am looking forward to this. I need to get this game. Hey guys, I'm just saying... You gotta be out here... Playing the Neon Genesis Evangelion opening... On Big Bang. Hey. On um, big, ah. um, big, big band. On yeah. um, big okay, band. Okay. You yeah, can I like that character too. You can actually play like the opening, like the first opening, like notes for the Neon Genesis Evangelion anime opening with him in game, like as you're fighting. You can just whip out your horn oh. and play an anime opening. Whip out your oh. horn and, and play an anime opening. Cruel Angel's Thesis. Cruel Angel's Thesis. That is such a cool, like, song name. That's just a cool title. Every it single is. time I've done that in Skullgirls, my opponent has stopped so that I can do that. <laughs> They've stopped the fight. Just so you, they could hear the music. Love it. it Would you say... It's, would you say Skullgirls is like a good? Is it one of those fighting games where you really need like the old style like arcade uh, stick and buttons set up to play? Not really. I would. I wouldn't say so. I play it with an arcade stick because that's just like I play all fighting games with an arcade stick. But yeah, it's it can still it still works on uh, it still works with controller because that's what it was originally you know optimized for. 
Oh. Did it like get... when I... It... Hmm? I was gonna ask, uh, I'll let you go first. It, it's just like, when I, it's, it's like when I tried playing Them's Fighting Herds on my Xbox controller, and I'm just like, this just, it, this doesn't feel right. It, it feels like I need, like, an arcade stick set up. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a little bit more, it's a bit more, uh, intro level. But, of course, there are, like, you get into higher elos the more time you put into a character. Like, gotcha. I believe for a long time, what the fuck is the, the Egyptian bitch? I don't remember her name. I know who you're talking oh, about, but I don't remember wait, her name. Hold on, yeah, hold on. She's one of the top-rated characters. Uh, Eliza. Eliza. Yeah, yeah she's the, the Egyptian name. It, her oh, aesthetic Eliza, is yeah. Egyptian. Her, her aesthetic is Egyptian. Like, her whole... Okay. The whole aesthetic... Like, her name isn't Egyptian, but her aesthetic is Egyptian. Like, her whole... Like, the her design style and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. When you it's first because... Do it. It's because she's the host to a parasite called Sekhmet. Uh... Yeah. So... Yeah. That. Uh, but she's currently, like, one of the top-rated, uh, like... The, one of the most difficult characters to use, but one of the best characters once you get a mastery of her. And mm -hmm. she's annoying as fuck to fight against. Didn't the, uh, isn't this, didn't this game get a port, get ported into any of the consoles yet? Uh, it's I... on, it's on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I know it came out for those, like, originally. Dang uh, it. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I can't remember. Let me check. I think it might have got ported to Switch. I think it got ported on other consoles too at one point. Uh Yes, there is uh there is Skullgirl's second encore which is available on Switch. Yes! Yeah! Oh my god, I I yet to play the second encore. Oh my god. Yeah, uh... Skullgirl's second encore. I need to find this game. I need to find this game. I need to play the heck out of it. Because this game is good. I love the art style of the characters. They're all fun. Oh my god. I, ah. It's a good game. Play it, play it, play it for your friends, play it for your teammates, play it on everything. <coughs> Alright. Don't I play like against these... Eliza. She's a bitch. And anybody who plays her is a person who hates fun. So this is the same. So it's the same kind of people who like to play Odd Job in 007. Yes, they're there. They're there because they want to win, not because they want to have fun. Aw, yeah. 